Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you the working of my stock management system project. I'll walk you through all the key features and how it can help manage inventory smoothly. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to like it and subscribe for more such content. Let's get started. So, this is the login page that you are seeing. If you are new, you have to register. So, enter the username, email, password. Make sure it has to be uh, six characters long. If you are not entering six characters long, and uh, I'll register an admin firstly. So, I'll just click on this register. It says password must be at least six characters, right? So, we have to enter six characters and if you mismatch password and confirm password then it says passwords do not match right so make sure you match it now we can register and account is created successfully right now we can use the same username and the same password in order to log in so i'll just use the same username and the same password if you'll use the same, uh, another username means the username that doesn't exist, then it says invalid username or password. So make sure you enter the same username and password. Now it says welcome to us. So this is the dashboard overview, right? Here you can see total items 15, low stock alert 5, okay? Then total transactions so far is 28. And this is the total stock value. So the stock that you have, its value is this currently. Okay. At the top here, you will see uh, the person who logged in and the date. Right. So low stock alert, you will see the item ID, item name, right, category, and the quantity currently. So for example, this office here belongs to furniture con uh, category and the quantity is 4 right so if the quantity will reach below 10 then that will show in low stock alert section okay now we can go to manage stock and in manage stock you can see these are already added products right so for example you have this keyboard right this belongs to electronics category uh, quantity is 80 this is the supplier this is the purchase price and this is the selling price right so if you want to add a new one you have to click on this add new item you have to mention the item name choose the category from here so if the category doesn't exist you can add a new category here right and if you wish to remove any category suppose snacks you can remove it by clicking on this remove button but this will only be deleted if the existing stocks are not linked with it, right? So currently snacks is linked to existing stock items. So this cannot be deleted. I hope this is clear, right? So then uh, you'll mention the quantity. Then you can mention the supplier. So if the supplier doesn't exist, you can add it. Okay. And if you wish to remove any supplier, which is not linked with any stock, then you can remove that. Then you'll mention the purchase price and the selling price and you can save the new stock item, right? So it will come to this place. Then uh, you can export to Excel. So you can export uh, this data that you are seeing here to the Excel file. So if you'll click on it, so report exported successfully, right? Let me show you the report. So here you have it. So you can see you are seeing this complete report right then you can also search by item name supplier name or category name so if you want to search for category uh, stationary suppose so you'll see the result here right and from uh, by clicking this refresh you will see everything again okay and if you wish to delete any you just select it and click on this delete button are you sure you want to delete notebook excel yes so this item is now deleted 
okay if you wish to edit any details just click on this edit from here you can change the quantity to 90 okay and you can save it all right and you can see this red color so red color means the stock is low right next we can go to reports and charts so here you can see stock by category so electronics has this much quantity office supplies has this much similarly furniture has this much and so on right then top five selling items so these are top five selling items like ball pen uh, 60 items are sold right so these are top five then you can see this graph here this represents stock transactions in versus out right so for this date 1 november 2025 62 items were stocked in and 41 items were stocked out okay so uh, so this is selected this month right so if you select this week so you'll see this result right so you can see 28th october data 29th october 30 october and 1st november data right for today you can check this right this year this is the data right and you can also uh, check the custom range so you can select the date from which date to which date you want to see the data and you will be able to see it then if you go to manage users so here the admin can filter uh, the user's data based on the role so if he wants to see only the admins so you'll see the admins if he wants to see only the employees then he can see the employees right you can also search by username or email so if i want to search juhi so i'll type just juhi and it will show us the result right uh, then uh, from here you can edit the user so if you want to edit any user details as an admin you can do that so edit user and you can just modify the change and click on save right so as an admin you can also uh, make uh, an employee an admin or an admin an employee and as an admin you also have the right to delete the user so if you wish to delete any user just select the user and click on delete and i show you want to delete user admin so yes so that user will be deleted okay and you can also export the data so if i want to export only the employees so i'll select employees i'll get this result and then i'll click on this export and i can just name the file and we'll save it on my desktop okay so this is exported let me quickly show you so this is a csv file that is exported okay so you are getting the username email role and the created date right and then you can search by username or email right then if we move to transactions so these are the transactions that are done by the employees okay here you will see which employee is doing which transaction right so you can filter that so if you want to check only the in stocks so we'll just select in so these are the in stocks okay and you will see the transaction id item id item name type in right quantity you will see the quantities that are in date and time at which date and which time these are in and who handled it right which employee handled it similarly you will see the out here okay and then you can also check based on the employee so if you want to check for eram so the transactions done by eram so these are the results okay you can also search any item based on the item name or the id suppose uh, i can check for office chair like this right i can check for ball pen right and then from and to so you can check the transactions from this state to this state right so if i want to check for uh, let's say 29th october right to 1 november so i'll just apply the filter and i'll see the result here right 
then I can clear date from here. And then I can also export the transaction. So if I want to export only the transactions from this state to this state, so I'll just apply the filter and then click on this export transactions, right? So this will export only that date transactions. transactions yeah so here you can see it right for that uh, date period okay then uh, if you wish to change the password then you can change the password from here you will enter your current password then enter the new password and confirm password and change password so i'll just change my password So you can see password change successfully. If you'll enter the wrong current password, then it will not allow you to change the password. Okay. So make sure you enter the correct uh, current password. Then after changing the password, uh, you also have this logout. So you can log out. Okay. Now we can log in as an employee. So you will mention the username and the password. So if uh, the employee account is not created, uh, you can go to register new account just uh, fill up these information username email password confirm password select the role as employee and register so i already have registered two uh, employees iram and juhi so i'll just log in using iram firstly i'll mention the password login so you can see once the employee logins you will see a window like this here they will see the total transactions, total items and low stocks. Okay. And this graph will show monthly stock transactions for Eram. Okay. So this is Eram's transactions. Okay. How many uh, items she has sent or received. Right. So we can go to view stock. Here uh, Eram can see uh, the stocks, the available stocks and she can filter so if she wants to see only the stationary items so this is how she can see it right then if she wants to add transactions she will select the item suppose ball pen transaction type whether in or out right so i'll just in some uh, stocks so 30 quantity i'll stock in right i'll just submit the transaction and this transaction the admin can view it right then uh, i'll just go to my transactions so these are my transactions erams transactions okay uh, here uh, again you can just filter it based on in or out you can check the item based on the item name or id you can also use this date filter okay and then you can export the uh, transactions then we have change password so if the employee wants to change her password then she can do it after that we have logout and i'll just log out now let me just log in using the other employee i'll show you one thing so once this employee logins they will see their monthly uh, stock transactions so she can also view the stocks she can also add transactions she can also see her transactions so she has done two transactions so far okay and then change password and then log out same okay so i hope this is clear i'll just log out and i'll show you one more thing there is forget password uh, functionality so you can just enter your email suppose i'll just enter the admin email send otp So you can see OTP sent to your email, right? Now, so I'll check my email if I have received the OTP or not. So you can see this is the recent email and this is the OTP, right? So I'll just copy the OTP and we'll enter the new OTP here, okay? Suppose if I enter a wrong OTP and try to change the password, 
it says invalid OTP, right? So we have to enter the correct OTP. Now the password is reset and we will be able to log in with the new use, uh, new password, right? So yeah, that's it. I hope you like this project. Give a thumbs up. The source code for this project is in the description. Let me know if you have any doubts. Thank you for watching.